finally, all of the products that I've ordered have arrived. But I'm not mad at it. There's a lot going on out in the world right now, and this really is the last thing I should be doing or worried about. Hi guys, it's Mo. Welcome to today's video. So as many of you know, Sephora just had their sale, and then everyone else I feel like had a sale. So we've got a little bit of everyone here today. I might even have something in there for you. You never know with me. <laughs> Come on, let's get started. I, I bought this because it was on sale and it was cute and I wanted to get it to match with something else. <laughs> You know how that is online shopping, okay? It happens. So I did sanitize this whole entire plastic, but this is from Nordstrom. So I got this little purse. Isn't it so cute? It's from Topshop. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I'll find it and I'll list it on the screen for you. I love my designer bags. That goes without saying, but I also really like having more toned down bags for just like easy running around stuff but still cute so it does come with a strap to make it like a crossbody and here's this little detail and that's actually the pull and that's what the inside looks like it's very basic very simple exactly what I was looking for you know just like a running around little cheapy bag. I got it in mind to wear it with these shoes. These are like my run around everyday shoes. I'm a mom. I got stuff to do, places to go and all that stuff. So I love wearing these with the most simplest of outfits to just kind of take it up a couple notches. And I got this bag thinking I could wear them together. I know the pinks are a little bit different, but I think they'll still work. So, yeah, I got a new bag. That was like the only not makeup beauty thing that I got. I'm going to start off with the stuff I got from Beautylish. I picked up the new Viseart Spritz Spritzer. Look how nice they wrap it. Really, really appreciate how Beautylish ships things. They really do a great job making sure you get your things in one piece. So this is the Viseart Spritz edit palette. Viseart has some really nice quality shadows and I had to get this because I love the other ones that I recently picked up. <gasps> Look at the packaging. It has like little bubbles, like little champagne bubbles on it. Excuse me. <laughs> and you pull her open. You have a mirror, a little plastic cover, and then here are the shadows. So pretty. I'm going to do a dedicated video on this palette, so as soon as it's available, I'll link it. Such pretty colors. Nothing revolutionary, I know. It's just a different color story and Viseart quality shadows. So I can't wait to dabble on into this beauty here. I picked up this Tom Ford brush cleaner. <sighs> I know. So pretty. No, I didn't buy it because it was pink or anything. And Tom Ford. <laughs> So this is just a brush cleanser. So you pretty much apply it to the brushes, work it through, rinse, dry, you know, just fancy because it's pink and time for it. Now I picked this up because I've really been wanting to try it and I do like exfoliators. This is from Holly Frog, I think is how you say it. It's the Kumu Puppy <laughs> Renewal Scrubby Wash. Oh my goodness, it's so cute! The inside of the box. I can't with all the cute details. Smooth and plump. Scrub smarter, not harder. How cute is the packaging? We settled the great Goldilocks face scrub debate with a gentle and effective formula that gives you the freshly polished gratifying sensation of a manual exfoliation without, without traumatizing your skin's barrier with overly harsh jagged bits of shell or sandpaper. Think soft, not scratchy. So cute. I like this company already. Sounds really good. So yeah, so it just comes in a squeezy tube and I'm taking this in my bathroom, using it tonight. 
and I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I've been getting into good molecules and they're really, really affordable. So this came as like a set. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I think they had sent me like a sample of this and I liked it and I was I had it on my wish list and I said, you know what, let me just let's just do it. So this is formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C. So she claims to brighten and improve the appearance of large pores. Excuse me? Is that gloss? Yes, it is. Fancy. Here's what she looks like. Yeah, okay. If it works out good, you'll probably see it in a favorites. And then the other part of the set was the niacinamide serum. Now this says it's formulated with 10% niacinamide to refine skin's texture and minimize pores. And she is a glass bottle as well. Very fancy. And she comes in the dropper. Okay. No smell. That's a plus. I'm kind of... I like the Good Molecules line because I feel like it's a very minimal ingredient line, which sees what you get. No frills, no fancies. Um, so that's why I've been kind of dabbling on over, trying their products out. And yes, I still do love those little eye jelly patches. They're so good. I can see why they're always sold out. In a recent video, I asked you guys for some blush recommendations and thank you so much. You guys are the best. You gave me some great recommendations, and here's one of them. This is the Shantikai Cheek Shade. This one is in the shade Laughter. Look how pretty the packaging is. So when you purchase this blush, you're helping with the coral reefs. There's always a good cause behind Shantikai, so yes, that's my excuse. Here is the packaging of the little blush. I will say, honestly, yes, the weight is on the site, and you can obviously, you know, look at what you're buying before you buy it, but I admit, wow, that was a little screechy voice. <laughs> I admit, this is a little smaller than I was expecting for a blush, but nonetheless, it is very pretty. Look at that. Oh my goodness, the details. And there even is a little mirror. It's adorable. I kind of think I would rather buy them in the singles and make like a palette of their blushes because they do sell them like that. And so pretty. I can't wait to wear this. Another thing that I picked up from Shantikai is the Brilliant Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Modern. And here's what it looks like. This is kind of like a mo nude easy kind of color that's why i went with it to start and if it works out great then hey i'll get more but i figured i'd start with a safe shade Ooh, and it comes with a brush i like that i think majority of my glosses are all like a doe foot so pretty that is a really pretty color not smelling anything so that's good yeah there are like very fine shimmers in it nothing too much I, i've been hitting these two glosses really really hard so i was like you know what let me just get another gloss that's in this wheelhouse so we can add it to the rotation so i don't kill these this is a pat mcgrath and then this is a tom ford put that one in the rotation now so yeah the next product i picked up from shantika is the Le camouflage stylo this is a anti-fatigue correction pen um, I got it in the shade number eight and I, I need products like this now because I love just keeping things simple, but I have like under eye stuff. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it goes. Yeah. I picked this up from Clay de Poe. This is a liquid rouge shine. This is in number five, Birds of Paradise. Oh yeah. That is beautiful very luxe packaging and i love this color they had swatches on the website and i was like yeah i need this color i don't have anything oh my gosh how beautiful look at that doe foot it's kind of like flat it's pretty cool but look at that color Ooh. I needed this color in my life. I am so glad that I got this. So pretty. So pretty. All right. Enough about the stuff I got for myself. 
why don't we talk about what I got for you? Yes, we're gonna do a little giveaway. And in my videos, I don't announce that I do a giveaway. I genuinely want a person who watches my videos, who hangs out with me, who enjoys my content to enter the giveaways. So this is why I do it like that. I think I got you something nice. I think I got you something that you'll like. I got you two things, okay? And they're both from brands that you guys have seen on my channel a ton. So you know that there are things that I really like and enjoy that I am wanting to share with you. So here they are. I got you a little Tatcha Luminous Spray. I'll kind of sort of open it and show you. It's brand new, obviously. Here it is. You know what they look like, the little spray. It's a little baby one. This is perfect for your purse for travel, for touch-ups, you know, stuff like that. I figured it'd be a nice little thing to have. And I got you a Tom Ford quad. And this is one of the new ones. This is Mink Mirage. I don't even have this for myself. That should tell you something. <laughs> Just a little way of me sharing with you. I know this is a pretty difficult time for a lot of people. And I just want to share and give back and brighten your day and share some of the things that I love with you. So I got, uh, did I say what it was? Make Mirage? Yeah. Let me show you what it looks like. It has to come with the pouch. And let's see what this is. Make Mirage. I went with a safe palette. I don't want to get you something with a lot of color and you probably, you know, can't use it. I figured this is a palette that you can use and really enjoy. Check down in the description box. I'll make sure to list all the rules and the legalities, you know how it goes. Okay, back to the haul, back to all the other crap that I bought. <laughs> I've really been enjoying this brand, Ilya, and I saw that they came out with new product. This is the Ilia Nightline Bronzing Powder Talc Free. And I got it in the shade Novelty. Very simple packaging, nothing over the top. Very simplistic. Really big mirror though. I don't think that there is any shimmer or sheen in this. I think it's matte. Clean, talc-free, finely milled powder that delivers a natural bronzed look. Buttery, soft texture, blends easily and can build from a natural sun-kissed glow to a more dramatic payoff. We got lots of new products to play with, don't we? This is from Kosas. This is the Revealer Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. It looks so bright, oh my god. Let's swatch it right here. Here it is before I blend it out. Let's see how she blends out. So that was the Kosas uh, Revealer Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. Yes. Another brand of skincare that I repurchase a lot over the years. Uh, youth to the people. This is a new one for me. This is their kombucha and 11% uh, AHA exfoliating power toner. Lactic glycolic black tea tree bark. This is an exfoliating toner. I got a sample of this. A cute little deluxe size sample and I really got on well with it and I loved how it let my skin feel. This is not something that I would use every night but I plan on using it occasionally, maybe a couple days a week, and then pairing it with the Use to the People Superfood Mask for nighttime. And I love that Youth to the People is a environmentally friendly brand made in America, recyclable packaging, reusable. I do have more products from them, you'll see. So much packaging that ends up in landfills from the beauty industry so it's nice when you can do something like this you know but I picked up the Neo Nude I see everybody seems to be liking it it's the true to skin natural glow foundation and ooh, look at the packaging very pretty and you know what's cool look down here it gives you like a little peekaboo into the actual shade so I got shade 8.75 I really like skin like foundations as many of you already know 
So it's right there. Can you even see it? It looks like it's going to be a good match. Just blending it with my sponge. Okay, that'll work. Looks like a good match. And it's nice and light and kind of sheer, so that looks promising. I also picked up the Luminous Silk Concealer. I got her in the shade 7.5. Oh, look at the packaging, how pretty. Carolyn from CV Makeup Lover sold me on this. Just, it looks so beautiful on her. That's the doe foot. Looks like it's going to be a nice brightening color. Okay. And you know what? I can tell a little goes a long way with this. I also picked up the Giorgio Armani A Contour Professional Liquid Face Contour in the shade number 21. How pretty is that packaging? Love it. So this is just a liquid contour. Let's... Ooh. The only other liquid contour that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. And I think I'm almost out of that. I've used the heck out of it. So I guess this worked out pretty fine. I'll do a dedicated video to all the Giorgio Armani stuff. We can try them all out together. This is another brand that I have been repurchasing for years. I really, really enjoy that it's a natural brand. It's made in America. I love all that stuff. Tata Harper, they came out with a new moisturizer and I stop using my Le Mer <laughs> moisturizer. I know, who am I? I don't know. <laughs> so this is the Water Lock Moisturizer with Skin Smoothing Peptides. And I'll tell you, the packaging reminded me of the Drunk Elephant a little bit. And what's cool about this is instead of repurchasing the whole entire bottle you're going to repurchase just a refill so oh cool so see that's how it comes so you pretty much hold on to the pump portion and you would just repurchase the bottom portion so that's what it looks like and the top is identical to like the um drunk elephant where you press it and the product comes out so it keeps it sanitary and away from air. I'm excited, very, very excited to try this and we'll see how it goes. This is all Chelsea's fault from Glam Girl Chelsea, okay? She is in love with Kosas and it looks amazing on her. I mean, I get it. So I picked up their new um, bronzers. So I have their concealer now and their bronzer. So I'll start with that and we'll see where it goes. I picked up the medium and deep because online, I mean, I felt like I could do the medium, but I wasn't sure because I've never purchased from the brand before. So I said, you know what, let me just get the dark too and let's see. So this is the deep. That's the packaging. I think it's really nice. I like it. Wow. Look at that. This is deep. This is nice. It does smell like chicken grease. Oh, it's very soft. Oh yeah. So that is the deep bronzer. Now let's see what the medium looks like. I think for me, I'll be able to use this on the lighter makeup days and then the deep I'll be able to use when I wanna like, you know. So here's deep, and then here is medium. Ooh, I cannot wait to play with these. And then here they are side by side. I think this is definitely, obviously this is darker, and it's a little more red warm tone. Yeah. Both so beautiful. I cannot wait to try these. I'm excited about this. This is from Givenchy. It's been a while since I had like a hit from Givenchy, because this is the Le Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm. And I got her in the shade number 14, Nude Soul. Packaging totally did it for me, but then I love these type of colors. 
Look at that. How beautiful, right? Yes, yeah, Shivoshi. It is that kind of like faux leather up here. I think it's so pretty. Liquid bomb. Huh. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. This, it feels like it's going to be so comfortable. Kind of matches my nail polish. This is a Givenchy nail polish too. What are the odds? You know what I like about the packaging is when you get to the end, it like, it locks. Oh, this is so, so pretty. I can't wait to try it. I think for like eight months now, since I came back to YouTube, I have been saying I need to try a Tom Ford concealer. And I finally am going to try one. This is the Emotion Proof Concealer. This is in the shade number 10. I'm wearing it today. I couldn't wait. And I'm so, like, it's nice. It's really nice. I'm glad I got it. Packaging is so pretty. It, it's like, you know, it goes with the whole vibe. Really, really nice. And I like the applicator. It's like angled. And give you a swatch of the color. I find it to be very light. It doesn't give super full coverage, but what you get is, yeah, right there. And again, that's what I have on today. It did brighten everything up and I have nice coverage. You don't see my darkness. You don't see my sleepiness. So I like it. I like it so far. And I'm glad I finally did it, right? <laughs> We've been talking about it forever. I got another pair of my Lily Lashes Light Minks. Today I'm wearing the Light Minks in Royalty. I love these as like the everyday lash. Sometimes wearing a full-on pair of Miami lashes from Lily Lashes is just too much. So <laughs> I have been leaning towards the Light Minks during the day and for the most part all the time. I got this one in Lux. This one is a little bit more voluminous, a little bit more. So I can't wait to wear these. And the band on these lashes isn't too much either. You can totally wear them without doing a wing. So I like these and the quality is great. I've worn these at least, I'm probably getting up there to 10 times and they still look great. I love them. So here is the other Youth to the People product. This is a repurchase as many times as I need, forever, always. It's great. It's this I got in the biggest size that they offer. I don't think that it's on the Sephora site anymore, but it is available on the Youth to the People site. Now this is the 16 ounce, the really big bottle. And what you do is you just refill your pump size, which I believe is eight ounces. So I just wanna give you a little size comparison. The one on the left is the large 16 ounce, and the one on the right is the one that I refill. That's the eight ounce, and that one comes with the pump. This is a great cleanser. It's very gentle. It does a good job at cleaning, and you don't feel stripped or anything. It's really, really awesome. This is one of my favorite cleansers. I have a cleanser for every day of my mood, okay? But <laughs> it says something when I repurchase products multiple times because that means I really like it and it really works well. So I got the big boy of this. And look what it says in the box. It says Mother Earth has pores too. And Michelle Wong got this and it looks so pretty. I was like, I want it too. This is the RMS Beauty Living Glow Face and Body Powder. Summer's coming up. I love to glow like all over when I'm sitting by the pool. Look, this is my aesthetic. So this really is speaks to me like that. It speaks to me. So, ooh, look at it. It comes with a little poof. Let's try it out. Ooh. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. Let's see. I can't wait to try this all over my body. Yeah, I'm happy I picked that up. So that's it. That's all I got. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'll have all the information in the description box with the rules and legalities and such. 
I appreciate you so much. Comment below. Let me know some of the things you picked up recently. I know there's been lots and lots of sales and we've all been getting ourselves in trouble. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.